Hi, this is me Lakshman and this video is all about setting up the SSL settings for your Cloudflare website that you have just connected. In the last part, in the previous video, what we did was we added a website to our Cloudflare account and then in this video I'll be showing you how to configure the SSL settings provided by Cloudflare which are free to use and then we'll be using free SSL certificates SSL certificate for this so this is the website that I'm talking about that we added in the previous video and as you can see it's showing a connection not secure error and then also what's happening here is if I go to the URL with HTTPS um, it looks like it's taking me to a different page it's because this is the admin page and then this is uh, this is the WordPress admin page and then this is just a normal interface so let's we'll fix this by configuring the SSL account and then so that when whenever a user or any visitor enters the website with or, with or without as a TPS it will take to the same destination so for this let's go we can do we can st uh, start from here quick start guide also but i'll it's better or uh, easy i prefer to go by the option here let's go to ssl and tls settings here and then currently uh wordpress has automatically set it to the full mode so it means uh, you can see here it encrypts all the connection and then if you go flexible uh, the strictness will be a little bit lower so you might want to try with flexible and then go with the full settings here or leave it on full and next so I'll turn this always use HTTPS on so you can see there are different options available here so you don't need to worry about this and also if you want you can turn this as HSTS on So if I go back here and refresh, it, as you just saw, uh, my insecured website URL has been automatically pointed towards the HTTPS settings here. Let's let me show you again. So as you can see, I, I'm no more getting the SSL error. So this is what we did was we just made sure our SSL setting is made to full or flexible or you can also set it to strict but sometimes there might be some error uh, in between while, communica while communicating in between the website files and Cloudflare so you can start setting with flexible and then go to full and if you don't get any error on a strict you can just use this or I would prefer to leave it on full so you can also check these options the next thing what we did was we all enabled uh, always used as HTTPS settings on so this made so this redid, redirected all requests with HTTP to HTTPS so this is it so now as you can see both of the pages are being taken to the same destination I mean the both of the URLs with or without HTTPS so this is how you could add or configure your SSL TLS settings with the free SSL certificate provided by Cloudflare. So in the next part of the video, we'll be looking at the DNS settings. So how you can create or add any records, create subdomains like that. Thanks for watching. If you have got any comments, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next video.